everyone, today I am doing a demonstration and review of the Celeb Luxury Viral Shampoo and Blonditioner. If that is something you're interested in, then keep watching. Okay, so here we are at our lovely shampoo sink. Um, and if you're looking at Hannah's hair here, it is a level 10, um, a little bit of banding in there, but that shouldn't be a problem. And I am going to use the Celeb Luxury Viral Shampoo in Pastel Lavender. So we'll go ahead and get started. And I'm going to wet her hair down. Oh yeah. Okay, so you wanna get a good amount, and I like to rub it like this, but not fully emulsify it into suds. And then I just like to place it right on the hair. And really work it through. And when I'm using this, I um, am not shy with it. I apply it pretty liberally. And we'll probably do maybe two or three washes with this. So you see how much I used in just that area. I'm gonna go ahead and use some more. Because this is the lavender, it is a little lighter. You can see what we're doing here. So we'll leave this on for three minutes or so and then we'll do it again and then maybe even again because it builds as you use it but you don't want to use this more than once a week because it is a little drying on your hair. Okay so it's been about three minutes and I don't know if you can see but it really looks like it at least is toning it. So. Let's go ahead and rinse that out and see where we're at. And I'm planning on doing a, at least one more shampoo anyways, but let's just see what we're looking at. I'm already seeing where it really grabbed onto the ends there, where she was a lot more porous and maybe a little overprocessed, which every blonde is, so don't judge. And this is me rinsing with warm water too, um, just to give you an idea. Typically you probably want to do cool, but just to see that it is grabbing even with that warm water. So now you can really see where there was the difference in her blonde. So down here she was at like a 10 plus, which means that it was the most blonde you can get almost. And right in here, it's probably um, a natural nine to 10, just a little less blonde. So let's go in and hit her again and see what we have got. wait another three to five minutes okay so this is the second time and you can kind of see where that band was it's definitely a lot um, less yellow it's a little more icy um, so we're gonna go ahead and rinse this and probably do it one more time so that will be the third time and I'm rinsing with lukewarm water so you can really see how this product builds on itself so the more you use it, um, the more pigmented it will be. And I have experienced that myself when I use it. Okay, 
Okay, so you can see here, still has a little bit of yellow in it, but it does look like it's toned a lot. I kind of might want to even just see what it's like with this dry, but I don't know. Let's go one more time. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm even going to towel dry this just a little bit to take out some of the moisture. Okay, here we go. Third time's the charm with the pastel. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay. And to get a price point on this, it is anywhere from $25 to $30 retail. And I know I've mentioned it before, but always get your professional products from a professional, please. You have no guarantees on them if you get them elsewhere. All right, we'll let that sit another three to five minutes. And then we're gonna go in with the Viral Extreme Blonde Dishner. And this is what they recommend to use after um, you do the any of these Celeb Luxury line here because it can be drying. So this goes in and it just seals up the cuticle and it kind of smells bad, to be honest with you, but it works really well. So actually, let me kind of squeeze some of the moisture out of her hair here first. And then I'm gonna go in with, um, with a lot of it, guys. Kind of a lot, so yeah, there we go. Kind of weird looking and a little stinky, but does the job. Yeah, that's weird. And you're supposed to let this sit for another three to five minutes. So if you were doing this in the shower, which is what most of you are going to be doing, um, what I usually do is I get in the shower and the first thing I do is I will wash my hair and let the viral shampoo sit on for three to five minutes and then I do mine twice because I'm only washing my hair once a week so I do it twice and then while I do that and let it sit on I just shave my legs or whatever and um, then I'll rinse that out and I'll go ahead and put the blonde conditioner on to let that sit and you can kind of see where it grabbed really well and where it didn't and this is kind of just how this stuff is because it is not super um you can't be precise with it so it's kind of just going to do whatever it's going to do and it's going to grab onto things that are more porous and it's not going to be perfectly perfectly even so you have to kind of have that in mind when you're using it so i'll let that sit on just a minute and we'll rinse her out and then i'm going to dry her hair and i'll show you what it looks like so this is after we washed her hair with the Viral Lavender Shampoo three times and we used the Blonde Dishner as well. So this is it dry and styled. And you can see where her banding was. It didn't get that same lavender that her ends did, but it looks really cool. So I don't think it's like super a problem back here we probably could hit it again it was a little even more yellow than her banding was just some uneven spots but really all in all it looks pretty rad guys I don't know So what is my takeaway from this experience? I would say that the viral shampoo and that Celeb Luxury line is awesome and fantastic. It allows you to do really fun things with your hair at home without having to go to your stylist. Um, I also think it's worth mentioning that they also have 
different colors of this, obviously in a fun fashion colors, and that is what they call the viral line, but they also have um, what they call gem lights, or, which are in the more natural tones and shades, like reds, browns, stuff like that. And that would be awesome to extend the life of your color as well, um, if you wanted to use that. But the viral shampoo is awesome for fun things to do with your hair. I would say it's really important to have level porosity throughout your hair shaft to get even distribution. But like you saw with Hannah's hair, she didn't have a level porosity. She did have a little bit of banding and it still turned out awesome. I think that it still is super cool, even if you do have a little bit of um, just difference within the hair shaft. I think it looked awesome and I would totally rock that. And actually I do because I have some some different levels of porosity and lightning that I had in my hair before when I used it. And I work with it and I like it. So that is what I would say about the Viral Celeb Luxury Shampoo. I think it's super cool. I also think it's really important that you use the blonde conditioner that they recommend to go with it. It's not just a marketing scheme. I know that sometimes when they sell things with things, it seems like it's a marketing scheme, but they're meant to go together. It does more than just condition your hair. It actually balances out the pH. It's designed to balance out the pH after you use this shampoo wash. So just get these together because they really need to go together. Also, for best results, I think that it's best to use it on really light brown to blonde hair. As you can see, I use this um, all the time and this is my natural color on top and obviously it's not gonna do anything to that because it is so dark. So for best results, use it on lighter hair and you will love it. Like I said, get them together because they are supposed to work together. And if you just use this, I think you'll find that your hair will be a little more dry and brittle than you might want. That is my review and demonstration on the Celeb Luxury Viral Shampoo and Blonditioner. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment below because I'd love to hear your experiences with the shampoo and Blonditioner, um, what colors you have tried, and things like that. When you subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification option. Um, for my videos because then it'll let you know when I come out with a new video. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.